In this video, we're going to talk about composite shapes. This is a great video to watch after you've seen the other videos that are on the shapes by themselves. In this case, we're going to be looking at combination shapes. So here's the example that's on your screen. A composite shape consists of a hemisphere and a right cone, both a radius 28 centimeters. The height of the cone is 84 centimeters. Calculate the volume of the composite shape and work out the total surface area of the shape. So there's two things that we have to do. The first one is the volume. So what we need to do is kind of organize our thoughts. Let's go ahead and say that we want to find the volume of the cone and we're going to add that to the volume of the hemisphere. So we're going to start off by identifying what would be the volume of the cone. So if you were to look at your formula packet or if you were to find the formula online, you're going to find that the formula for the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared times the height. And then the volume of a sphere is going to be four thirds pi radius cubed, but we don't want the entire sphere. We only want half of the sphere. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this by one half because we only want half of it. So now I've gone ahead and set up my formula. So I'm going to substitute. It's going to equal one third pi times the radius, which is 28 squared, times the height of the cone. Remember that here in the diagram, 84 centimeters is the height of the cone because that is perpendicular to the center. So that is going to be 84 plus 4 over 6, or 2 thirds, when you simplify this, pi, and again, the radius is 28 cubed. Now, all of this is going to go straight into your calculator. So let's go ahead and multiply in the calculator what is 1 third times pi times 28 squared times 84. So this is going to give me 68,964.2419, etc. Plus the second part, which is the volume of the hemisphere, is going to give me 45,000. 976.16129. Go ahead and add those two numbers together, and we get a grand total of 114,940, if you round to the nearest whole number, cubic centimeters. Remember the volume is always cubic, so now we have been able to figure out the answer to part A. Let's go ahead now and move on to part B. And working with part B, we're going to write it out very similarly. We're looking in this case for total surface area. So total surface area is pretend that we're going to wrap this shape in either aluminum foil or we're going to wrap it with wrapping paper. So it's going to be all around. We need to figure out what is the surface area of the cone. Remember, this is a composite shape. So this cone right now, when I find the surface area, I don't need the bottom circle. Normally a cone is the curved surface, which is like the birthday hat. And then at the bottom you have a circle. So in this case, to find the total surface area, I'm going to find the surface area of the curved surface of the cone. And then I'm going to add it to the surface area of the hemisphere. So this is what our goal for this problem is. To figure out the surface area of the curved part of the cone, I'm going to use the formula pi r l, where l stands for the slant height. I don't know the slant height. Here I have in red a right triangle because this is the actual height of the cone here is the slant height, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle, and the 28 is the radius. So I will be able to find slant height through Pythagorean theorem. We're going to hold that for a second. We're going to hold that thought. Plus, then the surface area of the hemisphere is going to be, well, the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, but I don't want the whole entire sphere. I only want a half of it because it's the hemisphere. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and, like I said earlier, we're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to do it on the side. 28 squared plus 84 squared is equal to L squared. Take your calculator, find 28 squared, add that to 84 squared, and that gives you a sum of 7,588 is equal to the slant height squared. Take the square root of that answer, and we get approximately 87.1. So this is my slant height. It's approximately 87.1. So in the formula, I'm going to write down pi times the radius, which is 28, times the slant height, which is 87.1, plus 1 half of 4 is 2. So you can either leave 1 half times 4, or I'm just going to write 2 because I know that 1 half of 4 is 2 pi and then the radius is 28 squared so in your calculator you should have the entire value for 87.1 it's 87.10912696156 etc leave it there in the calculator so when you do your calculations you don't have round off error i'm going to go ahead and multiply that by pi and by 28 to get that very first part and that gives me 7662 0.519 plus now let's go ahead and multiply 2 times pi times 28 squared and we get 4926.01728 let's go ahead and add those two numbers together for a grand total of 12588.54 square centimeters and it all depends on what you need to round to. If you're doing this for the IB exam, then you would want to round two, three significant figures, which will be 12,600 square centimeters. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more help with math so that you can say, yes, I can do math with confidence. Until next time, thanks for watching.